Hello and welcome back. In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you step-by-step -step instructions how to customize your WordPress sidebar. Let's jump in. Hey everyone, real quick before we get started, if you're new to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down in the bottom right hand corner and then hit that bell icon. That bell will notify you anytime I upload a new video. Then also I would love it if you would leave me a like if you like what you saw on this video and leave me any comments and questions in the comment section down below. Okay, so today we are going to go over the um, how to customize your WordPress sidebar. What is a WordPress sidebar? It is this nice little thing over here on the side of the screen that coincides with your blog post or any other pages that you might have a sidebar associated with it. Uh, you can customize one or multiple sidebars. Uh, with this, we have our blog post, Two Days in Paris. It just has filler text. But on the side here, we have the About Me section. So I'll show you how to customize this About section, these uh, social icons, and your featured posts, recent posts, etc., etc. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into your, your dashboard. And when you're in the dashboard, you go down to Appearances and Widgets. So when you're in the widgets, over here is your sidebar. You can have a bunch of different custom sidebars, but I'll get into that in another video. But to customize our current sidebar, you want to go into all of these tabs. So the image is obvious. It's just going to have this image here. All you need to do is click Replace Image, and this image can get replaced. You can make it whatever you want. Um, I recommend an image that's no wider than 300 pixels. That way it'll fit in that sidebar really nicely. However, the sidebar is still responsive. So even if you're more than the 300 pixels, it'll still convert it down for you. Um, also that image, we have it uh, linkable. So it's hyperlinked and this is where you would put that hyperlink. So if we go back here on this, if we click on this image, it's going to take us to the About page, as you can see here. So now that we're back in here, you can see I have it set up as the About. So you can just change that link to whatever, whatever page you want it to go to. Then right below it, you have the text. And this is just some basic text that I threw in there, some filler text but you can make this however, whatever you want it to be. Uh, also, some people like to put a title in there to have it a more bold. I think it throws it in as a H3 tag, um, but it also didn't look quite right for me, so I just left it up. Okay, the next one is the Monarch the Follows. So when you click this, the dropdown, you can see all you can edit here is the title, but you can edit everything else. Let me move my face here. Um, within the Monarch actual plugin. And what you want to do is, let's see, where are we at? Monarch is under Tools and Monarch Settings. Let's go ahead and open that page. Okay, in the Monarch settings, what we have is we have the social follows is what we have going on there. And you can see we have the Pinterest, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram, which should be the same for in that same order. So here is where you're going to want to put in your social addresses. And you can also add networks. You can remove networks by clicking on the minus sign here. And you can also change what it would say. There's a lot of different settings in here and I won't get too in depth with that, but uh, you can really customize this to, to make it look a little bit different 
and there's a bunch of different ways to make it work. So in the Monarch tab, all you can do is change the, the title here, but everything else is in the actual Monarch plugin. So next is real basic. We have a, a text block, which the text blocks are nice because they are HTML compliant. So you can put in the HTML code. So what I did is I just threw in an image by doing add media, or if you want to put in the code, Ooh, they have a new custom HTML code. Oh, nice. That is brand new. I think that is in one of the newest updates of WordPress. I did not know that. So let's do this. Let's cut this out. Let's bring in a custom HTML code. And let's drop in that content. Um, then when we click save and save, I bet you it will look identical. We'll just hit refresh. And what do you know? It's the exact same thing. So this is just the custom HTML is just going to be for people that actually know a little bit more about coding. Um, Personally, I'm probably still going to use the text one because it'll still show the visual. So it still shows you what it's going to do. Let me delete that. Let me save that. Um, so this one is just a little bit more user friendly. But if you want to get in a little bit more in depth, maybe put in some HTML uh, different links or maybe some CSS code or something like that. The, HTML, the custom HTML code might be better for you. Um, but I haven't played around with it, so I don't know how in-depth it is. So um, next one is the Elegant Themes Advertisement. This one I used as our blog post. So this one, I used it a little bit differently. And I have uh, the images with whatever URL I wanted to go to, and then the title, and then the alt tags for, for that image. So if we go back to our page, you can see I set it up to where it says features post, and then you can see when you hover, it has blogging tools is the alt tag, and then also it has the, the actual image for our Pinterest image for that page. And then if you look down, by where my face is right here, right below me, uh, it has the URL that it's going to go to. So the blogging tools URL. So you don't have to use the ET advertisement as actual advertisements. I'm using it to put our own posts or you can have it to put your own call to actions or whatever you wish on there. So there's a couple different ways to do this. Don't be scared that it says advertisements in there. Use it as you wish. Okay, and then the next one is just the recent post. Nice, simple. You say how many posts you want, if you want the post date on there, and it's nice and basic. So um, essentially, that is how you customize your WordPress sidebar. Um, there's a ton of other things that you can put in there, recent comments, RSS feeds, calendar, bloom opt-ins, forms. So there's there's tons of different ways that you can customize it. I could be here all day uh, showing you each every individual way. So if you want a specific way to learn how to customize your, your uh, WordPress sidebar, go ahead and leave me a question down in the links or in the comments below. And I, who knows, maybe I'll make a, vid a quick video on how to do that. So Thanks for sticking with me till the end here. And if you guys have any questions, comments, leave me a like. Everything's down below. I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a good day.